Welcome to Movie Phones Unscripted. I'm Leonardo. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Movie Phones Unscripted. I'm Leonardo DiCaprio and this is Ellen Page here and we're here to talk about our film Inception. We're going to ask each other some of your questions as well as some of our own and I'll start with the first question to you, Ellen. Uh, this is from Shannon from Cedar Knolls, New Jersey. There's a lot of amazing talent in this movie. What was the chemistry like between all the different cast members on set? Um, I think the chemistry on set couldn't have been better. I think uh, everyone got along in incredibly well and I think it is a lot to be said for the energy and the environment that Chris Nolan creates on set uh, despite the vastness of scale despite whatever visual spectacle we're doing he always takes time for actors and uh, allows for uh, hon honesty to be found in every moment and um, you know working with you which is amazing as well as just so many unbelievably talented actors it's just an incredible environment to be in i would agree with that oh. <laughs> with privacy becoming more scarce do you find any parallels between the process of inception and your real life as a celebrity uh... i i, I don't think i can make those parallels uh... if i if i wanted to um quit this industry and move somewhere else and, and um, be, be a, a victim to all the shortcomings of what it's like to be an actor and in the public eye, I should do that. I love being an actor. I love being a part of films like this. I, I want to continue to do it for years to come and it's a very small price to pay. I think that uh, there are people with, with much more difficult professions in this world. But as far as parallels are concerned, uh, no, I mean, this was set in four different uh, stages of the human subconscious, and it was like a giant therapy session, huge ac action sequences, nothing like what my normal life is like. So I, it's very difficult for me to draw parallels. Mm -hmm. It's unscripted, Leo. Uh, yeah. Well, you, Who knows what's going to happen here? This is where improv comes into play. Yeah. So you're, it's, it's Ellen to Leo. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> um, Oh, great. I'll uh, just think of the bevy of questions that I have. Uh, um, so, Leo, mm -hmm. um, when we were working together in the, uh, the um, film movie, Inception, uh, uh, Inception <laughs> and we were wearing the white um, <laughs> snowsuits, yes. did you sort of feel like we were in a Backstreet Boys music okay, video? We, I kind of felt like we were part of a, a gigantic boy band and we're on location on a snowy mountaintop. That was, that was a very, those were di difficult days because um, I remember being up on top of that mountain, as a matter of fact, yeah, and I do too. We, we, we had shortness of breath and we had to do some very long dialogue sequences. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were all kind of getting a bit queasy and we had lightness of the head, but to fit into those suits was something that was very locked into Chris Nolan's imagination, something that he'd been thinking about for a long period of time. And I think it was very much a leap of faith on all of our parts to, to jump into those white snow suits. I think, but I, end up, I think it ended up paying off. I think they're great and I think they work awesome. But uh, I also felt like I was in a, in a bit of a music video. Or like you were the giant... Um, uh, I, I just don't usually from, wear things like that in film, so no, I think that's I. what was the. I think that's life. what I mean by the. Oh goodness! Did you have any weird dreams during the making of the movie, Leo? To tell you the truth, I don't remember any of them. Wow! I was way too tired. Uh, I was working almost every day for five months, and every bit of sleep, I was in such a deep state of uh, unconsciousness that I, d I couldn't recall anything. I do have, uh, you know, wild dreams constantly. I, I only remember fragments of them. I barely remember what they're about. The last one I remember was um, being attacked by some sort of rabid animal, and they were running in a circular position, and I had a giant glove, and I was trying to tire them out before they uh, came around again to attack, but I was saving a group of people. And I think it was right before right before this press junket. So I feel like it was some sort of an analogy for the, um, the questions that we were going to get asked. Wow. Yeah. I was out of deep-rooted fear 
Wow. I'm still coping with it wow. right now. Well, see, we need to talk about it anymore. Yeah. Later. Yeah, we'll talk about it later. Leonardo oh. to Ellen, unscripted. Oh. So, Ellen. <laughs> yeah. Did you f at all feel like my character's therapist in this movie? And was it something that you kind of uh, uh, kept in mind throughout the course of the movie? I mean, obviously, your um, character was constantly asking me questions, penetrating my mind, making me come to terms with the truth about mm -hmm. my past. And did you, did you take that role on, or was that not something you thought about? Well, your question is a lot better than mine. And um, <laughs> yes, to a certain extent. I mean, I think it's interesting with uh, the relationship we had, because I'm obviously being thrust into this new, new situation, and um, without giving anything away, end up going a little farther into things than was originally planned. Uh, and I was always questioning whether it was this just innate intellectual curiosity to then lead to becoming your quote unquote like a therapist but then also and maybe more so doing it out of protection for others who mm -hmm. may not know the uh, without giving anything away that there's maybe some unknown harms that uh, you are sort of aware about uh, so I think you know her desire is also to make everything actually goes smoothly for everybody else by um, by making sure that perhaps you do some some work personally do you think I shouldn't be giving everything away in this press junket because I feel like oh, I are am you giving a lot everything away? there oh, is to shoot. give away but you're doing a much well, we'll better see. job oh. than I am at, well, at shrouding this film I asked you a film. horrible question let's hope that maybe was will get no, neutralized no, not at all, not at all. Um, Oh, um, oh, that's it. Well, I just want to say thank you to uh, Mr. Leonardo DiCaprio and thank you to Movie Phone and to you for watching and sending in your questions. Um, please check out our movie Inception. It's uh, really exciting and I hope you enjoy it. Me too. Thank you guys. Did you do good?